healthy lifestyle is the key to a healthy and balanced life. Really fast. It's not about eating less or eating really exotic crazy stuff. I think it's just getting a balance of like starchy things like potatoes and whatever, having a good amount of fruit veg always helps. And just balancing that out with some protein source like just stuff like beans, pulses, meats, eat what you think is sensible. Don't eat ridiculous amounts, obviously, if you're not doing anything, but just eat and don't worry. I remember once I spent £16 on food for a month, which that was interesting. That was a lot of dried food and stuff, but I ate healthily and I ate well and I had tasty food, so you can eat healthily on a tiny budget, like I said, so £4 a week which is tough, but it's doable, all the way up to like 20, 30, 40 pounds a week. But obviously not everyone has that kind of money, but you tailor it to, well, to see what your needs are. <laughs> there are meals you can make that are very nice and very interesting, that don't take very long to make, or they might take a long time to actually cook, but don't take a long time to prepare, so you can just go and leave them. And I'll show you something simple, just like, French onion soup or, well, particularly Provence soup. Just onions, just get some beans, nice. fry, and boil. And that's it. It's very simple, very tasty, and nutritious. Yeah, I so suppose the most important thing is just cooking should be fun. I mean, it's just about living, it's fun. Here, jump. Oh. Don't jump. Okay, don't so you basically jump. hold on to it, lift yeah. your feet off the ground because you're quite tall. Okay, so yeah, okay. Have your feet forward. Now hollow, which is yeah. interesting, you tighten your abs, your okay. feet should come forward a little bit. Okay. Now hold your abs tight, yeah? Mm -hmm. Feel yourself quite yeah. tight. Now pull yourself up. Alright, okay. Relax, let's get. Nice. It's difficult. Yeah, like it. When I first went mm. to the gym, before I got into mm. it, I said, you know, I want to lose some weight, I want to get a bit more into shape, I want a six pack. Mm. And they just say go cardio, mm. cardio, cardio. Mm. And I've learned from experience that that's not mm. the route to go uh, if you yeah. want a six pack and you mm. want to really tone up. Yeah. It's great for your heart, it's mm. great for your lungs, mm. it's generally it's a good idea to do yeah. cardio, mm. but you're not going to get muscle definition, mm. you're not going to get abs from it. You'll get mm. fitter, you'll lose a little bit of weight, mm. but you're not going to lose loads. There you are. Yeah, you, you should do lots of squats and lunges and build muscle on your legs as well. Back into my routine. It's one of those things. It's, simple, it's very simple to add in. Like I always do when I wake up, when I go to bed, just bump, bump. Yeah. Yeah. Some people think I'm just going to run on the treadmill yeah. for half an hour, an hour every day, <laughs> yeah. and I'm going to lose this weight. And if you've never done it before, yeah. you'll lose some at first, yeah, but, but then, then it just stops. Yeah, because I was, I was noticed that recently because obviously I'm doing a lot of running, but I'm burning a lot of calories, but my weight is incredibly steady. You know, your people they start working out and they start losing the mm. weight. But the body gets used to it, and mm. that's why you do things that are like high intensity because mm. it hits the body in a way it's not prepared for, yeah. and it uses your stores, which mm. is where the fat is yeah. like where it's stored. Mm. You just they grabs the fat and it pulls it out, and mm. that's where you lose the weight. Mm. If you're doing something your body's comfortable with mm. and it's used to, then it knows exactly what it needs mm. and it's going to use the fuel that you have okay. that you put in yourself. Mm. Um, and again, with low intensity like mm. cardio, light cardio yeah. in this, you're just going to burn the fuel you put mm. in your body. Ah, okay. Like uh, you're going to lose X amount of calories mm. for doing mm. this distance in this time. Yeah. If you'll do high intensity, you'll lose mm. X amount of calories for doing it this mm. time. Plus the 24 mm. hours afterwards, you'll lose mm. more calories than you were going to burn from just the exercise. Ah, see, That's see, the see. trick. It's called mm. afterburn. Mm. But um, yeah, unless you give yourself a heart attack or yeah. something, which you should obviously yeah. go to your doctor we'll and find out all of this before <laughs> you start doing heavy activities. Mm. Good, don't, you're good in defending your knees. This is your fifth one again for now. Okay. You seem to have like almost like a six pack on their back, and it's like, how, why? <laughs> Did you know that many muscles on a back? And then just pull it down so that the bar touches the back of your neck. You can see all the muscles engaging. Yeah, I've got them, by the way. Okay. <laughs> you don't really see them. Yeah, you see, we've got a little bit of movement just here. Yes, where? where his lats are. 
It's more about you feel more strain from the trying to keep it controlled than okay, you do from so the just actual weight. Keep it steady. Okay. Yeah. It hits you a little harder. For instance, if someone does a, a I don't know, a clean, mm -hmm. which is where you throw the weight from the ground up onto yeah. your chest, mm -hmm. when you receive that weight, you mm -hmm. should bounce mm -hmm. a little bit on the spot. Yeah. You you shouldn't just take it straight mm -hmm. because that's a lot of strain on the knee. It needs mm -hmm. that sort of cushion. Yeah, the force needs to travel through mm -hmm. you in that cushion. Mm -hmm. The best feeling I can hope for a person when they're doing a workout for me mm -hmm. is that their throat is dry, mm -hmm. and when they breathe, it almost burns. Mm -hmm. That is what you mm -hmm. want to go for. You want the workout to be so harsh mm. that you need water to be able to mm. breathe properly. Okay. That's good. Mm. Not if it's going on for ages, yeah. but if you finish the workout okay. and you're there, mm. then you've done it. You've okay. done it right.